Right off the top tonight, we begin at 11, just an hour. That's right, an hour away from over 800 medical residents across western New York set to hit the picket lines. And good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. Mary Alice is off tonight. Well, after a year of bargaining, the residents and their employer have not been able to come to an agreement. To your sides, Andy Payton leads us off tonight with late details. In less than an hour, a year's worth of tension turning critical. With UB medical residents and fellows at hospitals like Buffalo General, the Buffalo VA, ECMC, and Oshai set to walk off the job at midnight. Oh, yeah. Check that out. After a year at the bargaining table, the residents are currently asking for an 8 to 10 percent salary increase, improved benefits, and better working conditions. But they say the latest offer from their employers would still leave them when compared to other programs in the region with the lowest salary and as the only program with no benefits outside of the health care policy, which many tell us right now doesn't even afford them the health care they provide. You can't be a physician and take care of your patients if you can't take care of yourself. Maddie Rossi Shoemaker is a fifth year resident and has been on the bargaining team for the past year. I'm a surgeon. I like things to have a direct um, correlation with my action and see, you know, progress towards my goal and we just have not been seeing that at the bargaining table. She tells me the entire time they've been negotiating, the hospitals have refused to come to the table themselves and have instead relied on UMRS, a third party company in charge of the residents payroll. It just really felt so disrespectful that they just wouldn't come to the table with us. If these stakeholders came to the table from the beginning, do you think you'd have a contract right now? Honestly, yeah, I think so, um, because the the things that, you know, this lawyer can't promise is what is under the control of the hospitals. But late tonight, UMRS saying in a statement that their latest proposal was, quote, virtually the same as the union's proposal, and that what the residents are now asking for is not fiscally responsible for UMRS or the hospital training sites. It's more than just the money. It's about affording health care and your groceries and your car payment and your loan payments and everything else you need to do. Maddie says they don't want to be striking. You know, I want to operate. I want to learn. I want to I want to go to work every day. I love it. But feels right now it's the only thing they can do. You know, I'm graduating this year. I want to know that I'm leaving behind a University of Buffalo that I can be proud of. Now we're told that strike will begin right behind us here at Buffalo General. When that shift changes at midnight tonight, it will run through Friday with no plans to return to the negotiating table as of right now, Scott, until next Monday. On your side and live here outside Buffalo General, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.